up guys, Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I'm going to be discussing to you, with my assistant here, why having bad posture and going into bad movement patterns can cause degeneration of the spine over time. Now we may move into, go into bad movement patterns for many reasons. Maybe we have a tight muscles, we're not aware of how we're moving. It, we might be going into bad posture, like say you're sitting at work 60 hours a week at a desk, you might just be slouching in your chair the whole time. You know, it could be for many reasons we go into bad movement patterns and bad postures. And the problem with doing this is it can cause degeneration of the spine over time. Now, you, basically your spine it has vertebral bones, these bones here and it has these discs in the middle. So between each bony segment, you have a disc. So you got disc, bone, disc, bone, and be between the disc and the bone, you got cartilage there. So between this bone and this disc, there's some cartilage. Between this bone and this disc, there's some cartilage. So basically, if you go into bad postures and bad movement patterns for too long, this cartilage can actually start to crack. And the thing is, you won't even feel this happening because cartilage does not have sensation. You won't feel, you don't feel sensation in your cartilage. So it begins to crack. You, you won't feel this happening though. So if you continue to go into these bad postures and movement patterns, the cartilage begins to crack even more. So now, with the cartilage gone, you got these ligaments here that help to stabilize your spine. And when you're, with your cartilage cracked, there's less uh, stuff there holding everything together. So now the ligaments have to do more work. And your ligaments can actually start to slide more. These, these segments can start to slide more with the cartilage not being there to hold everything in place. So now the disc here can start to bulge actually because the disc is taking more pressure now with the cartilage not there to secure everything in place and the ligaments um, sliding, causing uh, everything to slide more. Ba basically the cartilage cracked the ligaments have to do more work, the disc takes more pressure. So now, if you keep going into these bad movement patterns, eventually, you start to get, you can start to get some fracturing going on. So, on the side here, these, these with less room, with, uh, you get increased compression because the cartilage there is cracked, it's, it's starting so you're starting to lose some height in between these discs. You're starting to lose height. So now these bones, they can start to jam into each other more. And they can start to get fractures. And now your segments, the bones themselves, can actually start to move more. They can start to move more among each other. So your top bone here, if this cartilage is cracking, it might begin to slide. The top segment might slide on top of the bottom segment. And that's a problem because your spinal cord, it's in the back here. It runs down your back behind all these segments. And then you got these holes here where nerves come out of from your spinal cord. So if there's less height, between the bones, now your nerves can start to become encroached upon by the, sp by the diminished space and one segment sliding above the bottom segment. So if this starts to happen, you can start to get nerve pain, like uh, tingling, electric pain, because these nerves are being impinged upon. And now your body might start to spasm in the back here. It's going to say, no, enough. I'm, I'm trying to lock this down. It's too painful. Your muscles start to spasm. They, they try to prevent this excessive motion from happening. And if you continue to ignore that, then your body says, enough. 
and it starts to build bone among the vertebral bodies to lock it down. So it starts, it might, it'll start to build bone and say, I don't want this excessive motion happening, we're locking the segment down. So then your pain will stop. But the problem with that is, is that if you'd get no motion at that segment, then the segment above it and below it will compensate by moving too much. So then the whole process can start all over again. And that's pretty much how degeneration of the spine happens. So it pretty much all starts with you constantly going into bad movement patterns, having bad postures constantly. That's how degeneration of the spine happens over time. The cartilage wears away, your ligaments take on more slack, your disc starts to bulge, you start getting fractures at that segment. It can move, your segments move too much, your muscle spasms on, you might get nerve pain, and then your body locks it down by building bone. And then the whole process can start all over again. So that's a summary of how bad posture and bad movement patterns can degenerate the spine over time. Alright guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction with my assistant here. If you like this video, please like it, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And I'll see you guys later.